What's going on guys, Raiden here. Today we're playing some Search and Destroy on Hanoi. And before the gameplay gets started, I'd just like to say that I hope you guys enjoyed episode 3 of the Scrub Chronicles because I definitely enjoyed editing it and filming for the clips and uh, definitely had a lot of fun with all my friends doing that. So hope you guys enjoyed that because that'll be coming for some time, those episodes. So Anyway, I have a little bit of a, of a theater fail here because... At the very beginning of this game, one of the randoms on my team that you can see me running by and I get raped by the barrel right there as my teammate kills me, the random, and I wasn't too happy about that because I, uh, that was one less death I could have had and I could have had more kills in this round, so as you can imagine, I was a little pissed off at that, but yeah, whatever, I mean, that's how I figured out about blowing my teammates up, so I probably wouldn't have been able to figure that out and put it in the Scrub Chronicles if he hadn't done that to me, so... Um, Search and Destroy, probably my favorite game type, and I'll explain it to give you guys a little bit of an insight on uh, why that is. To me, Search and Destroy is just more exciting than really anything else. I mean, Domination is fun for the first half of the game, but eventually you just start getting really bored, and it's just like, okay, hold both flags down, or if you have all three flags running back, running back and forth in between spawns, here, you, you always have to be on edge, and once you die, you have to wait, and a lot of people don't like the waiting aspect of it, spectating. To me, hey, you know what, that's that's a chance for me to, to get up and go do something around my house, get something to eat, or eat if you know, I have my plate near me, or just talk to my friends, and that guy gets turned on. Uh, so, for me, I, I really enjoy Search, and plus, Stump plays it a lot, so pretty much anytime Stump is in our party, I'm going to be playing Search. <laughs> uh, he, he really hates anything else. So, search is mainly what I play, and I, I really enjoy it. Most of the time, I can do fairly well, but it's hard to get a lot of kills when you have a full party. But in this specific game, it was just me, Stump, and DJ, and that was why I was able to get so many kills. And here, um, I'm the only one left, and I'm trying to clutch. I've already killed, uh, I think it's two guys, maybe three. Um, so I'm running around, and this is what this is the exciting aspect of the game I like. When you're by yourself, you have to clutch. And I'm already down; my team's already down one nothing in the game. So for me, this this part of it is a lot of fun. And here, this guy gets absolutely destroyed. Uh, I saw him there at the very end, even though he shot me, and Stump was asking me how I didn't hear him. But Surge and Destroy takes a little bit of patience, and. It can be really frustrating. A lot of people claim that Search and Destroy has a ton of campers in it, and that's why they don't play it. Well, if they would play it more, they would realize that a lot more people rush in this game than they realize. And I'm not saying everybody rushes, but every now and then, you'll get a, a full party playing against you that rushes the 74U, which can be frustrating, but not everybody in this game camps. And Although a lot of them use Ghost, you really only get kill streaks every few rounds, unless one of your teammates goes on a tear and gets three or four kills in a round. So uh, the kill streaks I usually run are three, four, five, which would be spy plane, counter spy plane, and napalm strike. You really don't need any high kill streaks in search because chances are, if you're playing in a party, you're not going to get up high enough to get a blackbird, and even then, you'd have to die. You have to get eight kills without dying. So chances are unlikely, and it's just best if. You just run low kill streaks, and that would benefit you and your team the most. I really like to run counter UAV or counter spy plane just because it really throws the other team off balance because they don't know where their teammates are. And as you can see right there, that guy tried to drop shot me and got doo dooed on. <laughs> so, basic strategies for search. Well, you'll see here that I am camping a little bit, and we're on offense, which I normally don't do. But for one, I'm trying to call in my napalm strike, and I don't want to run too far up and get rushed with a walkie-talkie in my hand and not be able to defend myself. And even after I call in my napalm strike, you'll see me post up in this building and kind of watch on the right side of this map, because I know a lot of people rush the right side of this map sometimes, and they usually go unnoticed. So I get the first guy and the second guy shooting at me, and uh, I get a really nice nade on him. It must have gone right in the doorway because it, it kills him. And I think at this point, Stump and DJ... I don't think they're dead yet, but I think they died this round eventually. Basic strategies for search. What I usually do on offense is 
use a sub and kind of play a little bit more aggressive. And then on defense, I tend to uh, sit back with an assault rifle because, in my opinion, there's really no need to rush on defense. Why? Why would you rush their spawn on defense? Uh, sure, they might be un you know they might not expect it, but why make their job easier by g getting closer to them and letting them kill you while they're sitting back? Because most randoms won't plant the bomb quick. They'll just they'll wait until the last possible second to plant. And by rushing them while they're camping, you're giving them the advantage of numbers. So, to me, I don't really see that as a smart decision. Stump does that all the time, and it works out for him sometimes, and other times it doesn't work out for him so well. I was playing with him the other day, and uh, he went 6-7. and seven, And we were uh, making a joke about it, because usually if you get 6 kills in the game of search, you don't go negative, because you usually don't play set, um, 7 rounds, just to be overtime. And even then, you usually don't die every round, so he said, you know, it's pretty hard to go negative when you have six kills, so. Some games, Stump doesn't, uh, you know, his strategy doesn't work for him, and some games it does. But the general rule of thumb for search, and this guy right here outguns me. Uh, I f had a feeling he was coming, but he was, was just quicker on the trigger, and he had the 74U, but I get him back with a Claymore. Anyway, the general rule of thumb for search is to never run the same route two rounds in a row. And I agree with this rule because most people that play search are fairly smart. And for some reason, I always get the randoms on my team who don't know what they're doing. But for the most part, um, the people that play search are fairly intelligent and know that they shouldn't run the same way more than one time. But I kind of have my own exception to this rule. And some of you may agree with me, but it's just the way I like to play the game. I will run the same route two rounds in a row as long as no one sees me. If I encounter somebody along my line that I'm running, and whether whether or not I come out victorious in the gun battle, I'm not going to run that way again because they're going to be expecting it. Even if I kill that person on my route, I'm not going to go back that way because they're going to be... They might post up or they might not run as far as they did before. It's just not smart. But if no one sees me along the route, then I'm going to run the same way because if someone runs that way the next round, they might not expect me. So to me, that's the way I play the game of search, and it's just it works better for me that way, I, I think. And maybe it's just my play style. But uh, yeah, guys, that's the end of the game. My final score was 17-2, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Later.